welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is abm graphics yes today i just want to show you very simple tutorial on photoshop on how to create a long shadow long shadow how do you create long shadow in photoshop like this so in this tutorial we are just going to fast forward it so that we can have it very beautiful and it's going to be it's going to look so exciting for you people and as you learn this to use it to do the manual 3d in photoshop is very simple yes so this one is just how to do how to make or how to create long shadow in photoshop so let's just go to our photoshop and let's get it done so this is my photoshop i have just launched and i have welcome back to photoshop yes welcome back all of us to photoshop and today i just want to show you that particular long shadow uh, 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 this thing text text how to make text looks like it's long you know with the shadow beautiful so first of all let's just create our background for that and this one our document is just going to be photoshop default size and then i'll make this one 300 it's okay for me and this one i'll call it long shadow long shadow shadow all right then i can have it like this then i will click okay just like this you get that yes and the next thing again i have to do is to come out with a background and this particular background i'm just going to use this particular background for that so that we can move on we can change it uh, 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 in the process but let's just have this particular background over here and yes and the next thing i again i have to do again is that i just want to lock the background so that i can work easily and then i'll come and pick my text tool over here and then i'll just come and type in a text that i would like to use for that so i just want to pick long shadow it will appear because the text is still the same thing over there okay let me click window come to character so that my character properties will appear then i'll choose white for that you get that yes and you can see it over here and it looks so beautiful for that and this is what i'm going to use for that tutorial okay yes so in this particular distance i just want to leave it like this so that we can work with that however let me make the size somewhere like this so that we can have it so beautiful and i know you will like it at the end of the day yes so the next thing the next thing again i have to do is that because i want to make it so that i can keep on changing and changing the text and all whole lot of things what i need to do is to right click over here and convert to the smart object so that anytime i want to change this long shadow to different long or to anything i can easily do that yes and the next thing again i have to do is to duplicate this layer over there and i'll press ctrl j to duplicate it just like that and then i'll bring that one down here you get that yes and when I bring it down here what i need to do is that for the particular distance it will be on top however i'll just right click it and then i'll change the color to red so that i'll have a red here so that that one will be on top over there like just like that and over here what i need to do over here is that i'll right click and then rasterize that particular layer and when i rasterize that particular layer i'll click on fx then i'll come to color overlay and this color overlay i'll add a color that is black on it i just want to use color black for that and then when i use that particular black let me close it up you see it you get that yes and over this one too i'll just right click and then convert that one to, to the smart object so that maybe if i need more corrections on that i can easily do that yes and the next thing again i have to do over here is that over this particular this thing i'll just select that one and then i'll come to edit then i'll come to free transform then i'll click free transform and then when this particular thing do photoshop recognize what you do after uh, after giving out a guideline just like this you see this guideline yes when you have something like that photoshop record anything so how do i record what i need to do right now so what i need again is that i just want to press the down arrow key once and then i'll press the right uh, key to once you get that so i'll press this one one you see it has pressed and then i'll press the right 
also once yes and when i do this it means that it automatically recorded something for me and then when that one is done i'll just come and click on this particular distance just like that and i'll have it just like this you get that yes and after that when i have i know that right now it has recorded already so what i need to do is that i just want to press shift i just want to press shift control alternate t means that it should transform what i just did it to it should repeat anything i've just did so after that i'll click i'll click t and then when i click t you see that everything is going to change for me you get that yes and so this particular tutorial is not just anything but it's just going to help you to be able to do anything on this particular destiny you get that yes so yes so right now let's just press our shift control alternate then we press our c then when we do that you see that everything will be doing very very good for us without any problem you get that yes so you see one two and you can see that is just coming out so this is always what we have to keep doing until we get our long shadow we get that yes so let's make it 50 let's get 50 50 okay okay yes then when we have 50 like this what i need to do over here is that i just want to hold shift and then i'll move to the top here and then i'll select it all then the what i just need to do is to right click and then match layers uh, yes and when i match layers like this it means it has just finished like that and the next thing i have to do is to duplicate that particular one by pressing ctrl g and then when that one duplicate i'll hold shift ctrl and then move that one to somewhere here i'll just try and take my time and do it neatly for you to see so the next again i have to do is to duplicate another one then hold shift ctrl and then i'll move that one to to the down there and it will look beautiful i just have to take my time and do it neatly so that it will look beautiful and then the next thing i have to do is to hold shift to select all the layers over here and then i'll match that one to over there just like that and then i'll press ctrl g again and then i'll just select i'll just move that one to to just like this you see that you see that our long shadow has completely done and it just needs some little bit process to get finished so then we have like this then i'll match all again and then i'll have it just like this and this one i'll call it long shadow and then i'll just leave that one as long shadow if it will be okay for me and however the top one when i close it this is what we have and then when i on it up this is what we have but i just want to add some uh, inner shadow and then stroke to it so i'll just select this top one and then i will just come and pick stroke over there and that particular stroke over there i'll just make it seven and then inside uh make it position should be inside and then i'll have it just like this then i'll click on shadow this thing and then i can decide to have it just like 75 3 13 and 10 will be okay for me then yes and then over this place you can also decide to add bevel and involvement to it so that it will look so much beautiful again for you and you can even add uh, uh, what is the name gradient um, uh, gradient color overlay to it so that just to let you look so beautiful in your destiny and this is the process of when you want to create 3d 3d text yes you can add shadow and those kind of things on it and it will look so beautiful for you you get that yes but we are not creating 3d we are creating long shadow and this is what we we'll have and then the long shadow over here i'll come and reduce the opacity to somewhere 50 yes and when i have it somewhere 50 that is what i'll have over there and then i can save my work. yes and i'll have it just like this and that is how long shadow has been done in photoshop and without any problem and as you see it, it looks so beautiful and fantastic yes and then 
the shadow you just have to play around with it and then you can have it so beautiful and you know just how you you would like to use it and it will look beautiful for you without any problem and then the background you can also decide to change the background to any kind of background that you like without any problem and it will look so beautiful for you however don't use black background that one will not work for you and don't use white whatever if you use white all right but it will look so uh, it will look so realistic so just try and get a background that is beautiful you can even use a gradient background for that and then that one too will look so beautiful for you so you just have to check through that kind of background that will look beautiful for you then you use that part particular background and then you see that magic in that and it will also look so beautiful for you without any problem so that is how we do long shadow in photoshop yes and however i make my text over here no problem i can also decide to let it come in the middle when it comes in the middle you see that the long shadow will not be that long it will just be somewhere here short going yes but i want it to be like this and that's why i have it like this thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and have a nice day bye bye